You might think of personal development or self-help coaches as the stuff of infomercials or talk radio, but it's much more than that for one North Texas man. It's the path that's taken him from homelessness to being a millionaire. Fox 4 Scott Sayers explains. It might seem like a long way between a North Dallas office tower and living on the streets. Matt Morris knows better. My blueprint was failure. It was being poor and food stamps and all that. Look at Bob Berg. Morris didn't start rich. Well, my parents divorced it at, uh, when I was four years old. Um, my father, about a year later, um, my mother had a boyfriend. And uh, my father broke into the house, murdered her boyfriend, and subsequent, subsequently went to prison. It didn't get much better. The Arlington Martin High School graduate would drop out of college, fail in just about every business venture he tried. At the age of 21, living out of my car, uh, homeless and selling swimming pools. Success University, this is Amy. Eight years later, Morris now has that North Dallas corner office. The journey to success is a very long and difficult process for most He did people. it by marketing his failures and rebounds, by becoming a personal development coach. Self-confidence, self-esteem, motivation, leadership, sales training, charisma, uh, how to have exciting, passionate relationships. So that, in my mind, is personal development education. What it is, is big business. Americans spend $8 billion a year on motivational videos and books, most of which Mars seems to have read. In its first year, his success university claims $1 million in sales and to be the most visited personal development website, surpassing Donald Trump and Tony Robbins. My belief is that the level of success that you experience in your life is in direct proportion to the knowledge that you put in your mind. 14,000 people in 146 countries have put Morris's knowledge in their minds and their money in his pocket. The distance between homelessness and wealth not only isn't great, Matt Morris has learned it's profitable. Scott Sayers, Fox 4 News.